Hello and welcome everybody. I'm your host Psych Coffee and we are back with another episode of Psych Coffee Plays Chained Echoes. Now unfortunately due to some personal scheduling issues and things like that I'm only going to be able to get one hour recorded today for you. Um, that's all I'm going to have time to get and still make sure that it gets out on time for you to watch by 5 p.m. on Sunday. So I apologize for that that you're only getting one hour but we're going to make it the best hour that we can by getting right into it. We have to go north up that way. I already decided to take a second. I went through, uh, looked at upgrades and combining gems. None of the gems that we can use uh, seem worthwhile. They're like specific, like, oh, you get extra damage if you use claws. So we don't have anything like that. So I didn't put any new gems in. And the only thing I did is I upgraded Lene's spear by one. I would have upgraded it by two because we have the, the materials for it, but we don't have the gold. So we're going to have to hopefully find some gold on our adventures here as we go. Um, we can't cross this bridge. So yeah, we're just going to, we're going to spend the next hour trying to get as much of this uh, quest done as we can for you guys. Uh, let's see. Weak to earth. I'm still trying to remember everything. I think, I think dry makes it so that they're weak to water and wet is so that they're weak to wind. I might have to see if there's something in a journal about that, but they're weak to earth. We're gonna go ahead and just do armor break. There we go. I don't know why, but always the very first like action or two seems to lag. And then afterwards for the rest of the game, it doesn't matter how long I play, right? One hour, 30 minutes, three hours. The, for the rest of the time, it is fine. It's just when, um, like at the very beginning. Part of me thought about doing the um, the booster for everybody. Did I switch? I did. Okay. I wanted to make sure that I took um, Killian off of the Bard because Killian would work better here. Restrain. Lowers overdrive. I mean, that's great and all, but... <laughs> I like that we have that. That's so nice to have now. Let's let's see. Were they okay, they're not actually having any issues with fire. They're not strong to it. So let's go ahead and use that to our advantage here. Oh, poor Rob. I just realized how hurt he already is. Dude! First battle of the game First battle of the game, Rob! You're already down! My dude! I need to figure something out for him. Alright, Rob. Get up. I was going to have you do a um, pandemic move, but apparently not. Should we lower his health? We're going we're gonna to destroy him. We're going to get rid of him. There we go. Rob! <laughs> I can't with you! Um... Uh... Rob, you have proven yourself for the final time. There we go. There's treasure right here. Is there another one around that tells us? These things, I think the concept's really cool, but they're really tough to like figure out. And maybe, maybe, honestly, I think a piece of that might just be the pressure of um, of the Let's Play. You know, trying to make sure that we, we continue moving forward and all of that. I don't want to spend, what, three hours here? Just trying to find it. It's probably over there. I doubt it's either of those, see? Because they're, they're not going to overlap with anything. So I bet it's across the river. Let's keep going this way. My goal is to see if we can't make it through this forest in this episode. Okay. What does Killian have again? White Swing, Helping Hand. Um, Alfred's Will would be really nice. Let's start with that. Lower all of their defenses by 10% to start is really good. Especially because with Sienna and Killian, I have two air, like, area attacks, you'd call them, right? Where you can hit everybody. 
Oh, we got a critical. Nice. I'm really liking um, the different stats, like leaning into critical, leaning into agility and stuff. Oh, what do I want to do? Inflicts dry. Is now the time to test this? Yes. Let's let's do it. Let's do it. All right. Lene's next. So we're going to see. I, I want to say that dry hurts with wind, but they're strong with wind. So I guess now's the chance and see if this makes them weak or not. And then we'll know. Okay. Dry correlates to water and wet correlates to wind. Okay. Good to know. That's awesome. Actually, that's going to be super useful in this battle. Um, do we just keep doing No, we don't need to do that. We need to do this. They hit hard. Honestly, though, I like that about this game. Every single battle feels engaging because of the health and TP systems regenerating at the end of combat. It allowed the uh, designer to make the battles intense um, because you don't have to worry about not having any health and not having any items to heal up and stuff like that. You don't have to balance it around the entire, um, uh, what would you call it, journey. You just have to make sure that you survive each combat encounter. Are they still? No, they're not. Ah, Victor, why you gotta be so slow, man? Why you gotta be so slow? We don't have any earth type moves with her. So I guess we're just gonna do this again. How are you guys not dead? This doesn't hurt them, I don't think. And he's up next and then they go. So we probably... Do we want to just take one out? No, let's do this. Let's do this. And hopefully that boosts Killian enough to take them all out. Triple kill. All right. Okay, where are we? We could go south or north. Um, Like I said, we're going to try and get through this forest a little bit. I'm really liking this game, so I may actually come back and try to... Um, Explore more of these maps as we go. Oh, I don't want to. Nope, 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 nope. That's the big nope. That's the big boss nope right there. I don't want to. <laughs> How did you actually make it through Katora on your own, Sienna? Avoiding danger is my talent. That doesn't seem to have quite worked out so far. Let's call it a run of bad luck. Granted, in Katora, a Lizvan with magical abilities helped me out. A uh, Lizvan who knows magic, hmm? Oh, don't tell me that, like, I'm gonna have to go that way. I, I saw him and I was like, oh, okay, let's just turn around, you know, like the other bosses that just sit in their spot. And then this one was just like, no, we're gonna... We're gonna keep pursuing, fam. Wait, what am I missing here? Where's, excuse me? Oh, there it is, okay. Everything's all hidden. There it is, another one. And you can see them both. Oh, it's on that side though. There's so much to explore in this game. It's so cool. I wish I had the chance to explore more, but I wanna get through some of this quest line. Um, you know what, Killian? I, I might switch Killian to be first. Alfred's will is just so good. Not only does it damage everyone a little bit, but it also gives them a 10%. Um, like, they, they essentially will take 10% more damage, right? I, I guess that's how you could calculate that. All right. Poetic March for everybody. Or should we hit them all with this? They're strong against that. They're weak against wind. Okay. Now for my next trick. Man, that's so nice. That combos so well. Oh, do I want to lower our overdrive? I don't. Not yet. Critical. Can we take them all out? 
Almost. You just have the alpha now. They're weak to wind. Ah, oh, he's still alive. And then he healed himself. I don't think that's gonna keep you. There we go. Okay. What's over here? What's in the corner? More loot? More loot. There we go. I like loot. Um, there's a lot of trees chopped down over here. Oh. I kind of I kind of really want the loot though, guys. Is there a Is there a way to get this loot? Uh, this way leads to this stuff. That's cool. Or or it's a tease. What am I missing? What am I missing? This way. What is that? Uh, who would wear that? Probably you? Less health, less TP, but only like by a point or two. And a couple points of defense, which is really good. And that's unupgraded. What about Rob? He seems to be having trouble surviving. This would increase his health a lot. Oh yeah, Rob, you're getting that. There you go. These sturdy Akatons, are they just not... Like, should I be... Can she wear that? She's the one that's dying. She dies about as much as Rob does. Okay, so she can wear cloaks, boleros, and Akatons. Okay... That does a decent amount for all of her stuff too. 106 though. So Rob is looking at the health. Yeah, Rob is the weakest character health-wise. Which makes sense. He's the he's the ranged archer. He's not really supposed to get hit. He's supposed to do status effect damage and all of that. I'm actually surprised at Sienna's amount of health, considering that she seems to be like a critical rogue. Who's the next lowest health? Lene? Okay. Well, then we're just going to have to be on the lookout for a bolero, uh, like strong boleros and stuff, because we definitely want to switch her over to that. I think Rob needs it more than she does right now, but... Oh, speaking of, one thing we're going to do, that right there. Having Killian... Uh, I, I like Glenn. I like running around as Glenn. He's cool, but I prefer Killian's moveset at the start of battles. Yes, game, I know that there's that going on but treasure and loot i need it i must have it you can't tease me with all this good loot oh yes there's gold that's for upgrades that's awesome sweet not as great loot but it's okay how do we get there we go around that way a little maze. An angel wing, I'll take that. It's helpful. Oh. Metal jerkin. You could wear it. You could wear it. Excuse me. It's a light it's a light armor. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, this actually explains it well. Wait, Killian, you can wear anything? Clothes, heavy armor, light armor, clothes. Okay. So probably the Bolero is a better version of clothes. Yeah, it says it's a three star. Shielded mail is like a three star heavy armor and the metal jerkin is a three star light armor. Doublets two, silver breastplates two. Okay, so we're, we're progressing on our armor sets. Nice. So if that's a light armor, she should probably get it at the very least, right? Who else can wear light armor? Sienna can only wear clothes. Rob can wear light armor. 
This would reduce his TP, but it would further increase his defenses. But I think I want to give that to Cien uh, Lene then. Because we want her defenses to go up a lot. Yeah. It also gives her 30 health. And then the mind and the defense. Yeah, compared to this, which is 30, 18, 18. But it gives you some TP as well. The TP is nice. But I think we need defenses on her better. More. Rob seems to be the technical guy anyways. Which is funny because she's the one that does the, a lot of the TP skills. What does this do? Oh, it's just health. Okay. All right. Let's keep going. Um, that just leads us out. All right, towards the center. There's the people here. Can we talk to them? No, you guys are just going to sit here? Sweet, we got fast travel. Although, I don't know. Can we use fast travel yet? Or are we still locked out of that? Oh, we can fast travel. We can actually go back to all the areas we've been. Part of me wants to go back there. Just to, um... I don't know, get some of those journal entries done and stuff we'll, we'll figure that out later we'll figure that out later how we're gonna do that how do we progress the story but then also go back and um i guess do a little bit of grinding tormund discover tormund's fast travel point so this is your hometown tormund or i guess i should read it so this is your hometown Tormund? Yes. The main capital of Terran, where the rain never ends. Well, it actually ends sometimes, but the days are far and few between. The city is so gloomy. Makes me want to go to a bar and get a drink. Or have a hot bath. Glenn's got his priorities. Hey, come with me fast. Prince Frederick is about to give a speech in front of the palace. I bet it's about the rumors. A speech? Let us go there as well. I love that the princess is just hiding among all of them and they just don't even know. Do you think the rumors are true? Apparently an airship returned from Farnsport with an injured general. I've heard something about an assassination. Do you think Escania planned to betray the treaty? We've been waiting for almost an hour now. Shouldn't we just head straight into the palace? Now that you've said that, here they come. General Elena. Look at how many people came despite the weather. I can't wait to see their faces when they hear the terrible news. Maybe I should go down to get a better look? Keep your emotions at bay, Lady Elena. Remember your position. Ha ha ha, strict as always, my dear General Guston. The same goes for you. That people might get the wrong idea seeing you laughing in the face of such terrible news. All right, all right, General Killjoy. Besides, I think most of them have already heard the rumors. They truly spread fast. Have you finished your small talk? Oh, my prince. Then let me have a word now. Citizens of Tormund, I come before you with important news. News that weighs heavily upon my heart. I ask you, for how many years have we watched our families and friends being murdered? For how many generations have our homeland been plundered and ravaged? While our enemy were being fed by foreigners, we had to endure hunger and suffering. We may share Velandis with Escania and Gravos, but it is not the same blood that flows through our veins. 
A year ago, the tide turned. We conquered Wearshire and defeated Gravos. Because we all worked together. Because we did not give up. But Gravos and its devious ways did not endure this. And not only killed hundreds of Terran soldiers in the explosion, but also sacrificed its own people. Is this what passes as honor in Valandis? As Scania's idea of ethics and morals is no less devious, which is why the decision to sign a peace treaty one year ago was difficult for me. This music, though. This music, though. But I did not want any more of our soldiers to die. I did not want our citizens to starve any longer. To this day, I am firmly convinced that it was the right decision. But today, word from Farnsport has reached us. Our chancellor and soldiers have been murdered. During the peace ceremony, troops from Escania executed Chancellor Et Etgar and some of our brave soldiers. Only General Mathai would es could escape and bring us word. Of course. Of course he could. So the rumors are true after all. Can we accept this? No. I have no choice but to take up arms again. The war that I wanted to avoid at all costs will continue. For this, I need your support, people of Terran. I can promise you one thing, though. You will not experience famine or misery anymore, because this war will be ended quickly. With the annexation of Wearshire, we acquired the weapon that devastated the area a year ago. You hear correctly, the most powerful weapon in the world is now in our possession. Behold, the Grand Grimoire. This is the weapon that can destroy an entire city? Terrifying, but it looks so harmless. If it belongs to us, then nobody will mess with us anymore. There it is, Killian. That's the same stone. Yes, this is the Grand Grimoire that destroyed Wearshire. But contrary to the prince's words, it was not used by Gravos back then. It had always been in Terran's possession. What? Uh, how do you know that? Why didn't you tell me that you knew about the stone? I know about it, but I don't have any more information than you do. Sorry, Glenn. With this weapon, we can destroy the entire armada with one blow and bring this war to an early end. Rest assured, people of Terran, this war will end soon and we will be the victors. Why does the prince show the grimoire to in, in public? Making the people feel assured, and the rumors will probably intim intimidate the enemies. I, I, let's hurry to the palace. I must speak with him. Matthai is a miserable liar. Sir Victor, about the grimoire. Sorry, I, sorry I didn't mention it earlier. The grand grimoire is one of the reasons I'm in Valandis. I'll make it up to you. There's someone I would like you to meet. But first, let us escort the princess safely to the palace. Dear sister, thanks be to fate, you are well. Words can't describe how relieved I am. At last, all those sleepless nights are over. Please, tell me, where have you been? I'm sorry, Frederick. It was not my intention to cause you grief. I should be angry, but now that you're back with me, I just can't. Your companions have my deepest gratitude. If it were any other day, I would have arranged a big banquet for your return. But with the war ahead, we must set an example to the citizens. Do not worry, I have had enough of banquets anyway. Frederick, I have an important matter to discuss with you. Can we take a moment to look at the guards on the left and the right here? They're insane, look at them. <laughs> Anyways, I have an important matter to discuss with you. I was present at the banquet in Farnsport and saw what happened there. It was not the soldiers from Escania who attacked our men. It was a wild demon. You're not telling us anything new. 
What do you mean? Sir Mathai told us about it. His report of the evening was very detailed. General Mathai, why don't you tell it yourself? Mathai. Very well. As the princess explained, there was an attack on the banquet by a demon, but even the strongest beast had no chance in the presence of the best knights of Valandis. The monster was quickly put down, but the real monster appeared only afterwards. Escania showed its true colors. Chancellor Sigurd had our men and Chancellor Edgar assassinated in the chaos of the attack. Our men were killed by the swords of Escania. I am sure they would have blamed the demon, but I was able to escape and carry the truth to you, my prince. This is a lie. How can you be sure that I'm lying with all the confusion that was going on there? Hold your tongue, wretched traitor. Do not trust him. I saw you with my own eyes. You gave the robbers the order to kill Lady Parnella. And that is not the end of it, Lord Brother. After the banquet, I hurried home through Cortara. Do you know who stood in my way? This man, who even tried to kill me. With all due respect, that is not true. Why do you say that? First you claim that I'm lying about the banquet, and now you are trying to slander me? Prince, please do not listen to her. She seems confused. You have been away a long time, Celestia. Let us talk later. It's best if you go to your room now and freshen up. For your companions, I will provide the best rooms in town and will reward them generously tomorrow. Frederick, this is not the right time for you to take care of my well-being. This war is based on a lie. I see your point, and I promise you we'll talk more about it tonight. But now, please get some rest. Please do not ask me to do this again, Prince. It breaks my heart to lie to the princess. And it would break hers if she knew that her brother is very well aware that Sir Mathai took care of the Chancellor. Your truth is more useful to us than my sister's. You performed your role surprisingly well, General Mathai. Oh, they're all in on it. Thank you, my prince. One could think my sister is the real liar. If not for the fact that she is the most honest person in Valandis. I agree, Mathai. Step forward. Prince, remove your armor. My armor? Are my words unclear? I, I don't understand. As you said, my sister is the most honest person in Valandis. When my sister claims that a demon invaded the banquet, it is exactly what happened, right? Yes, we already know. If my sister tells of a group of dwarves that are singing an ode to the moon on the top of this tower, then there is a group of dwarves standing on the top of this very tower and are giving away the most beautiful ode to the moon. Prince? And when my sister claims that you tried to kill her, you actually did try. Wait, please. She just said that to discredit my statements. Oh, he's totally like, you did your stuff well, but then you tried to kill her. And she is the most honest person, so she's telling the truth on that. So my sister's a liar after all? N no, I, I mean, in this case, Prince. Luck seems to be on your side today, General. Normally, I'd have them slit your throat. But since your statement is the foundation for this war, our people would be skeptical if I had to explain that you were executed after your return I'm... I'm sorry. Please, I meant no harm to Terran. But the people will certainly not be skeptical when I tell them that General Mathai came back from this bloody banquet with only one arm and one eye. No. Ah. Oh, that just happened. Sir Victor said he will bring someone who can tell me more about the grimoire. But it has been an hour already. Sienna and Killian went into the city. Rob and Lene stayed at the castle. I'm too nervous to wait here. Maybe I should take a look around the city as well. Guys, his arm just got cut off and his eye... Oh! 
That's crazy. That's quite the turn. That's quite the turn. I was not expecting that they were totally the whole the whole group was in on it. Oh, it's a good cat. Sacred water. Hello? I'm sorry for bursting into your room, by the way. There is nothing better than sitting here, reading a book and drinking a cup of hot tea while the rain falls against the window. That is pretty nice. Yo. No? Nothing? Alright, bye guys. Oh. I Don't mind me, I'm just gonna... It was just sitting there. It's lost. It's lost. I'll, I'll return it. Yep, I'll return it. Hey, what's up, dude? Oh, I thought this was the lizard dude again. They say the Ascanians like to party, but when it comes to drinking, nobody can beat us. I think that's because of all the rain. They have nothing else they can do but sit in the tavern and drink. Pickled onions with lots of sugar. The onion liquor is the hit in Terran. Oh, I don't know how that... It doesn't sound very good. Another shot of onion liquor. All right. Enjoy. Enjoy your onion liquor. That sounds disgusting. The constant rainfall and the dark atmosphere take its toll on our spirits. We in Tormund are considered to be particularly melancholic. Oh, this is a big old... Well, what's with the two giant stars? Is that just to try and say search? Just enjoy and search and whatever? I, we'll start on the far right then, I guess. What's over here? Hmm. Hello? Is this the shop? Volandis is well known for its ores. You only get the hardest and shiniest ones here. Oh, they sell all the upgrade mats. I want them all. Let's start with selling. Can we sell stuff? We've got probably got some loot and things we can sell. All right, sell that all oh, for two grand. Nice. What else can we sell? This, uh, these extra sturdy Akatons. We don't need those. And then for weapons, we've already kind of cleaned that up. These snacks and things actually start coming in handy with some of those harder battles. And then I definitely don't want to get rid of materials. And then for buying, we're going to kind of go off of what we can do. Due to the heavy rain, the people of Tormund decided to build an entire city underground. Oh, wait, is that where that goes? That's cool. Then there's this shopkeep. The multiple shopkeeps. I didn't expect this mission, this uh, this, to be a shopkeep uh, episode, but it might just be. Oh, there's so many. What do you sell? I'm selling random stuff. Maybe there's something here for you. Sterile milk is okay. So this this allows us to upgrade most of our stuff. Those greedy traders. Now that we're at war again, they immediately raise the cost of food. These are not leftovers from the food market. Use these bones to upgrade your stuff. Bones, bones, horn, and tough, tough rip. So this rain, you need some good clothes to keep you dry. What do we got? Fiber. We could if we, I mean, the hard part is, is the gold. How much gold we have. All right, let's try and be particular about this here then. We have to. Let's start with hers. I think that she is in, in need of an upgrade. And we can do it without buying anything, so we should do that. Can't upgrade it anymore. His can get one upgrade. So tin, some thin hide. We'll start with things that we already have the ability for. Should we upgrade his? No, we're not going to touch his because he's not here anymore. And I don't know if he's going to show back up or not. Okay, so it looks like to upgrade their weapons, we need two thin hide and three tin ore. The, what about armor? How are we doing on armor? 
We should really upgrade the armor. Actually, now that I think about it, I don't think I've upgraded armor a lot, and that's probably why my guys go down so fast. So definitely Linnea's armor goes up. Where's Rob? I'm going to at least splurge on the weakest characters getting some armor upgrades. We have so much gold and so many um, mats. We might be able to get most of this stuff done. These are all tier two. Should I wait till tier three? I don't know. I, I really want to. I, I, I want to upgrade everything, obviously, but let's upgrade her hers because I'm not sure when we're gonna get new gear. And then, I guess with that thinking, we should upgrade at least this silver breastplate. Ashen bones. Need some ashen bones. Need a lot of ashen bones if we're gonna an iron ore if we're gonna upgrade it. We should just upgrade that once. Let's upgrade this once. And then we'll get some ashen bones to upgrade that. That's upgraded. It doesn't matter. Okay. So two ashen bones, and we'll upgrade the silver breastplate once. And some thin hide and tin ore. That's easy enough. Ashen Bones? Who had the Ashen Bones? This guy? We needed, like, two? Is there any? Mm, I don't think so. And then... He has random stuff. No, that's fine. We're okay without that right now. That is for, like, upgrading the clothes. Usually... I think we're okay there, though. We need a tin, right? I feel like I'm missing something. Three? I think we needed three. Upgrade. Thin hide. That's what we're missing. Thin hide. Who had that? No. Okay. Maybe no one has thin hide, which is a bummer. Well, just my luck. No one has thin hide. Sorry, Rob. Rob's just getting left out again. And then... Man, I did all that work to upgrade stuff just to have this come on. And it's like, okay, well, now I'm going to upgrade everything again. Okay, I think we're good there. I think we're good. Let's move forward. Hormund underground. There is an entire underground city here. That's insane. Oh, look at that. More shopkeeps. <laughs> you guys didn't realize this was going to be the shopping episode, did you? <laughs> we'll get even with them. We've had enough of this everlasting war. The Grand Grimoire will crush them all. It's like having a nuke. They're going to send the nuke in. Nothing better than sturdy ter Terranian armor. Oh, don't tell me you just straight up sell the... But why? So I can upgrade everyone's stuff there, but I can... Right now, I couldn't... Okay, so we're not going to buy... We're going we're gonna to look, but we're not going to buy any stuff right now. Wow. What is that? A huge sword to be wielded with... So this is for Killian. That looks awesome. What do you sell? There's the thin hide. <laughs> it costs a hundred a piece. He needed like what two? Okay. Well, we've can't let poor Rob. Can't leave Rob out of this. There we go. A little bit better upgraded. What's down here then? They started building this underground city before the war, which means they started over 150 years ago. They had to stop, though, and never picked it back up. The floors the floors below are unfinished and blocked. Sometimes I wonder how much deeper it goes. It's another animal. No, it's a bad dog. No, don't bark at me. It's okay. I just want to give you pets. Oh, another dog. Pets? Yeah, good boy. 
Hello? Don't mind me just coming into your home. Can I help you? Would you like some tea? Or maybe some coffee? Oh, I'll take either. Although I prefer coffee. Perhaps you would like to use the toilet? Or maybe you want to sleep in my bed? Um... Huh? No? Then why'd you barge into my house uninvited, huh? There you go. That's the proper response. Get lost, you impudent vermin. That's the response I was expecting from barging into someone's home. They really do have just an entire city. I like the idea that it's like, yeah, we have an entire city underground. It's like, okay, I get that. But also what happens if it floods? <laughs> People are complaining that we ri raised prices after the war was announced. It's not us who makes the prices. It's the demand. Yeah. Uh-huh. Once the king tried to ban alcohol during wartime, we were supposed to concentrate more on killing than on drinking. And it worked, except for the fact that people were killing themselves instead of the enemy. Oh. Yeah. Just a nice little suicide joke in there. Wow. Man, I sure could go for a burger. There we go. Is this like... Is this someone that's known? Like, we're supposed to know who this is, and this is kind of like a... What, what do you call it? Like a cameo? It's, that, that just it feels so much like a cameo right there. But if it is, I, I don't know who that is. Why are there so many people standing here? They are outraged by food costs. War has just been declared, and they are already charging triple the price. That's pretty messed up. That's pretty messed up right there. I think, I think that's everything down here. Wait, that number three, what does that mean? Like, can I go that way? Yes. Oh, now I'm down here. This is a big old map. Oh, a chest. Herbal collar. Oh, is that all that was down here? Man. They definitely hide lots of little things. It's cool though. I, I like it. Are we supposed to go to the far left now? I guess so. I hope you guys enjoy exploring the city. Oh. Question mark. Oh, is that Killian? What is Killian doing there? He's watching out for you, bro. Oh, it's you, Glenn. Did Sir Victor return? Not yet. What are you doing here? Taking in the scenery while the rain has stopped. I still can't believe it. The Grand Grimoire is right under our noses. And? What do you mean, and? That's the reason we're here. We wanted to know more about it. Who had placed it in Wernshire back then, and above all, why? What then? I'm sorry, what do you mean? What do you plan to do with this knowledge? What's this about? You don't know, do you? I know what you want. You want the stone for yourself. I want to change this world. Having such a weapon would be helpful. Even though you know what it's capable of. Do you find it despicable? The Grimoire kills people. This sword here does the same. And yet we wield it every day for our cause. You you can wield a sword and choose your targets. The grimoire obliterates everything. Don't get me wrong. Every human life is precious to me. But just look back. We are walking on a mountain built of corpses. The blood of many is on our hands. The blood of people who were ready to die for their cause. We do not kill the innocent. If possible... I would not want to use the grimoire. 
it is much more useful as a scare tactic than a weapon anyway. Enemies will throw their weapons at the mere sound of the name. Remember how our enemies feared the band of the Iron Bull? Do you know the reason why I want to change this world? No. I come from a merchant family. We were quite wealthy, but since dealing with money is frowned upon where I come from, we were not very influential. We had a big enough house, servants always cleaned clothes, and we had enough food, but all of this did not protect us from the world outside. My younger sister went out riding one day, and the horse went wild. It raced through half the city until it finally stumbled in the harbor district, fell to the ground, and broke its leg. My sister sought help in an area that even in broad daylight was visited only by scoundrels. Weak and completely on her own, she could not defend herself when they came for her. Oh, dozens of men threw themselves on her one after the other. Killian, our butler found her in a gutter hours later. She had fallen into a coma. I was so angry that I rode into the harbor that same evening to look for the culprits. But who was I supposed to find? Half the neighborhood had taken advantage of her. I, I'm sorry to hear that. I haven't seen her for years, but from letters my parents send me, I know she is still sleeping. Glenn, I was a very liberal person whose greatest role model was Alfred of the Band of the White Dragon. A man who achieved fame with his mercenaries and at one point was as powerful as the armies of the greatest kingdoms. Since he came from the common folk, he tried to abolish the royal houses and establish democracy. I wanted to be like him, and after the incident with my sister, even more so. I could have felt anger for the common rabble, but I did not. I did not want to fight the lower class but rather the causes that made them this way. I set myself the goal that if my sister ever woke up from her coma, she would look into a new world, a better world that I created with my own hands, and for that I must make use of different means. Like the Grand Grimoire? Like the Grand Grimoire. The first thing your sister will see when she wakes up is not the beautiful world you have created, but the monster her brother has become. Don't worry, we will never get to that stone anyway. These are just empty words, Glenn. The story beats are heavy! Cutting off the guy's arm for trying to kill his sister. The Killian's backstory. Man. It's a horrible thing to happen. And it's admirable that that all happened. And the biggest fault that he has is he wants to wield a powerful weapon to bring peace and justice and order. But it's still cool that his concept is like... Hey, I don't want to fight the rabble. I want to bring them up out of this. I want to figure out what it is that's causing that and help them. I think that's pretty cool. More story beats. Title this episode, Stories and Shopping, or something like that. The fresh air will do you good, father. Now tell me. Why did you leave the castle? Where have you been all this time? The walls of this palace were suffocating. I am a princess, not a nun. I set out to look beyond the walls, to see what we have been fighting for, for all these years. And what did you find? Are you really interested in it? I thought you only care for this war. You portray me as a bloodthirsty warlord, which I am not. Besides, we shouldn't talk like this in front of father. Then go and see for yourself what lies over the walls. 
what people talk about, what they wish and hope for. You know what? You know that I told the truth about the banquet, don't you? Of course, I believe you that you have seen the demon, but you certainly couldn't have noticed everything. I ask again, you know I was telling the truth? And you accept the lie. I accept what Terran needs most. It will be over quickly. I guess it will. They give him a few more weeks. It's good that you came back. He can't show it, but I'm sure Father's happy that you're back with us. Father. His hands are so rough. His hands? I remember them tall, yet gentle. Loving hands that lifted me up into the sky as a little girl. They're so rough now like the hands of a knight swinging his sword. But they probably always have been. His hands held the sword more often than his daughter, after all. Wow. I think I have some time until Sir Victor returns. I wonder how Lene is feeling. This day has been hard on her. Maybe I can pay her a visit? That is if they let me into the castle. We're at like 52 minutes. I might I might try and extend it a few more minutes past the hour, at least so that we can finish exploring the city a bit. And this this game is honestly incredible. I am loving this. I'm loving the story beats and everything in it. My one complaint would probably be the the sort of lore dump that happens where there's just so much information to try and take in. And um, I'll talk to him in a minute. To take in and understand and grasp all of the concepts. On top of that, the um, the cities and names and people, like their, their, their title is so kind of hard to grasp the words of because it's so fantastical, right? Like Tormund and Wernshire, right? Like those are perpetua. I'm like, uh, it's it's hard to, to remember them long enough to appreciate them. But once you get past that and you kind of just get into the meat of what this story is and what they're trying to tell you, like the human element of the story, it becomes so good. It's so good. <laughs> That's the wrong way. Where's this? What is this? Oh, it's a... Sure. I'll just... It, nobody mind me. Hello. Once the war is over, I'll save up and buy my own house. Good for you, dude. But will this war ever be over? All right. What's up with you, dude? Rad Hat. That's a cool name. State your business. You have none? Then leave me alone. I'm busy, as you can probably see. Sorry, bro. You don't look very busy, but still. Is this like... What is, what is this? How does that... It's water, obviously, but... I don't understand the mechanic here. Is it because of the rain? And so they're constantly flowing it away from... Yeah, that's probably what's going on. They're probably trying to keep the flow of water moving so their city doesn't drown. Um, To the castle we go, I guess. See if we can't get a few more story beats in this episode. Why not, right? We are grateful that you brought Her Highness back. Prince Frederick hasn't been himself after she vanished. Now that the princess is back, I'm going to make an extra effort to keep the place in good shape. That other area was huge. Oh, oh, it's Rob. Look, you dropped all the good dishes. Don't think because you've just returned that I'm going to handle you with kid gloves. You will make up for all the work you missed, do you understand? Answer me, 
What kind of behavior is this? I hope you remember your status. Here at court, by order of his majesty the king, you have no more rights than a common servant. Yes, I'm sorry. What are you staring at? Be gone. Watch your tongue. He is the princess's guest. Apologize. Sorry. He was nobility that was taken captive, and so now he he's pretty much a servant there. Interesting. I'm so glad her highness got home safely. We have all missed her around here. You just let your guests run through the through this place. There's no map. I keep I keep doing the map like I'm gonna find something. I'll take a chest. Ooh, I just upgraded my weapons though. I don't, I mean, it's great to get new weapons, but it makes it so it's like, oh man, why'd I go and upgrade my weapons? Who goes, ah, what are you doing here? Is it about the reward? My brother will take care of it tomorrow. No, I'm just here to visit you and see how you're doing. You are? This, this is kind of you. Thank you. It's a lot of canvases. I had no idea you were so interested in art and so talented too. It's nothing but a pointless pastime. They all show the same motif. A huge tree on a flying island. What is this place? A place I have to go to. That you have to go to? It might sound silly, but it follows me in my dreams. It appears in my mind's eye and wants me to visit it. I don't know where it is, though. I see it in memories that are not mine. I try to capture it on paper to get an answer, but it doesn't seem to work. Your echo, then. My echo? Remember how Damber explained to us that after death, the soul leaves the body and dissolves into the maelstrom? My mother once told me, sometimes the soul doesn't completely dissolve. If these remnants flow into a new living being, it is possible that one keeps memories of the previous life. You mean to tell me this place in the paintings is an echo from my previous life? Maybe. This place could have been your home. I wonder if I had a better life then. I know I shouldn't complain. People are suffering all over the realm, and here I am protected from all that. But still, still I'm so unhappy. It makes me feel ashamed. I, I think everyone has their own problems to deal with. I don't think you can weigh that. I wish I wasn't born a princess. Tell me, Glenn, why do these rooms here feel so much tighter than anywhere else? Her eyes are so cold when she talks to me, yet with him, this boy seems pretty close to the princess. You do not look pleased. Sir Gawain. He is one of their companions. An interesting boy. I must say, he's the only one who did not want gold as a reward. What then? Information about the Grand Grimoire. Who would voluntarily forego a reward in gold? Is he a spy? A rather simple-minded one. When, we, when he asks us directly to our faces about the grimoire. We should take care of him, but not in the princess's presence. While you are at it, deal with the whole troop. As you command, General Godfrey. General Godfrey has returned, by the way. Wait, Frederick is just going to try and execute the entire party now? Is that what he's saying? As you command, General Godfrey has returned, by the way. Very good. Start the procedure immediately. I will. After the general has sobered up. 
Do not wait too long. We must not give Escania too much time. I can do without curves. They are unnecessary. Oh, come on. They are the most deadly weapons of all. That depends on where you use them. Where? What does that have to do with anything? Well, your katana with the curved blade is suitable for slash attacks that cause a deep cut. They are not suitable for thrust attacks. However, if every soldier in Volandis is running around in heavy armor, a thrust is more effective than a slash, making the great sword superior to the katana. In Volandis, for all I care, they still live in the past. Plate armor is on the retreat. The only thing that justifiably wears such armor nowadays is the sky armor, and believe me, you do not want to face them with a great sword. I saw him. Sir Vector's coming. You act like a kid waiting for his presence, Glenn. Well, I do hope he brings the reward. I'm already getting gray hair. Prince Frederick said we'll be given it tomorrow. Sir Victor. Ah, there you all are. Oh, what is that? Cameron, this is supposed to be the best inn in town? You got screwed. The ale tastes like piss. Barkeeper, Amber Ale. Ah, disgusting. This bland, watery aroma. One more. No, wait. Bring me three right now. It's going down like water. <laughs> Who's this guy? A good friend and the real reason why I'm in Valandis. This is Cameron, a scientist at the court of Terran. And this one here is Bathraz, also a friend of mine who helps me out with the more dangerous stuff. Is that the lizard? It's lizard bro. It's you. What are you doing here? Oh, you know each other? Looks like you've made it to Tormund. We're surprised. We. Oui. If your goal was Tormund anyway, why didn't you accompany me till the end, huh? You do remember that we are working for money? If you can't pay us, why should we act as your bodyguards? Is that all you can think of? I hope you have deep pockets, Sir Victor. Like Sienna's any different. Anyway... He will accompany me through Valandis. Can we focus on the main topic? Of course. I'm sorry that I didn't tell you about this before, but the real reason I'm in Valandis is the Grand Grimoire. And I'm here telling you this because we need your help. Victor, are you sure this is a good idea? Sure, they might be experienced fighters, but we can find others in the Adventurers Guild. I trust them. Doesn't mean that we have to explain everything to them. We need their muscles, not their brains. Cameron, what's this all about now? I explained it to you earlier, and you agreed to it. Now, don't keep us in suspense. All right, all right. I will take the time to answer your questions. At least, while these cups are still full. Considering how quickly you drain the cups, that's a terrible deal. Oh, who is that? Who is that? All right, we're just going to deal with the fact that someone's watching us now. Cameron is responsible for the Grand Grimoire and has been studying it for several years. Nasty thing. Contains endless secrets and has tremendous destructive power. You've seen what it is capable of, which is why Cameron and I want to destroy it. You want to destroy the Grimoire? That's going to cause some conflict. The Grand Grimoire is the weapon of the gods. No man should ever hold it in their hands. We must destroy it before more lives are lost. I, I will help you. Clint, wait for their explanation first. And keep your voices low. If anyone finds out about this, we'll be hanged from the gallows. So, what do you want to know about? It's just Glenn. It's just Glenn. Um, what do we want to know? What exactly is it? 
It's the more powerful version of an ordinary grimoire. These gems are able to store and release energy. They can be found in old geological layers, generally formed in palaces in, or in places with high uh, ether deposits. The largest grimoire found in nature is as big as a thumb. However, the grand grimoire is the size of a fist. We do not believe that it was created naturally. Someone created it. We do not know, but a simple stone is mentioned in the history of the fifth epoch. The gods used it as a weapon to destroy entire regions and to initiate the apocalypse. Luckily, they refrained from doing so, so that we humans are still alive in the seventh epoch. Exactly. But we are not here for history lessons. Do you have any further questions? Where did it come from? In old texts of the fifth epoch, it is briefly referred to as the weapon of the gods, but then it's no longer mentioned. Until about five years ago, the stone laid in Terran's treasure chamber. There it was kept as a mere piece of jewelry until uh, Gwain discovered its potential. Gwain? He was also in the throne room. The man with the white hair and different colored eyes. Gwain's the prince's advisor and a colleague of Cameron. He is also an old acquaintance of mine. We both studied in Nysa. So this man is an R. Unfortunately, he does not share Cameron's concern for the stone's power. He is trying to use it for this war as effectively as possible. We ran experiments with the stone five years ago. Its power was frightening. I spoke out against its use, but the king and the council were unanimously against me. And then... Well, then that happened with Wernshire. Why was the stone there? Terran had defeated Gravos and taken the city. The place was crawling with their own soldiers. Honestly, I don't know why the prince kept it there and what he intended to do with it. Now, the stone is back in Tormund and will be used in the upcoming battle. This is certain? Yes, preparations are being made right now. So what do you want to know about? How do we destroy it? This is the problem. We do not know. The Grand Grimoire is used by smashing it. This triggers a tremendous explosion. Only in a radius of three meters around the stone. Nothing happens in order to protect the user. Is that why Glenn and Killian were okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why Killian and I survived. Afterwards, the gemstone reassembles itself and can be used again. Which means you cannot destroy it in any normal way. If that is all your questions. Now, it just so happens that a few weeks ago I made a little progress and therefore called Victor to Velandis. The royal house keeps a list of all the gifts that are given to the king on various occasions. On such a list, I actually found the rainbow-colored grimoire. A monk named Nalkilber from the Kindril Monastery brought it as a gift more than 50 years ago. This monk is probably no longer alive, but the monastery still exists. And that's where you come in. You plan to go there and want us to accompany you. Exactly. The monastery is located in the east and has been abandoned for decades. Instead of monks, there are now monsters living there, and we need some capable adventurers to protect us from them. All the while, you are searching for information about the Grand Grimoire and this Nalk... Nalkaber... Yes, information such as where did the stone come from and how did it come into the possession of the, this monk. We might even find a way to destroy it. We'll help you. You do not need to pay us. Hey, 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 speak for yourself. The stone's not my concern. Without a reward, I ain't lifting a finger. That reasoning sounds familiar. But why are you telling us all this? Don't you put yourself in danger by sharing such explosive information? I do not understand this either. I have my reasons. I just can't name them. I'm sorry. It doesn't matter. Thanks to your trust, you have gained a new comrade in arms. Let me help you. Uh-oh. What was that? I swear I saw someone standing outside of the window. There they are. Stop. You there at the table. What is it? 
Drop your weapons and surrender. You are under arrest. What? For what reason? You should know it too well, spies. There must be a misunderstanding. Do you know who you are talking to? The gallows await. Move, now. Looks like we'll have to fight our way out. I haven't even finished my ale. Oh, boy. Well... We're going to end it there, guys. I know it's early. It's not the two-hour mark. Like I said at the beginning, I don't have the time to continue. As it was, I'm already pushing it just a little bit so that we can get through some of that story together. But as you can see, it looks like we're going to have to make our escape through the city now. And um, we're going to figure out what goes on next. This is exciting. I This game just keeps getting better and better. Every time that I sit down and play it, I'm more and more in love with it. And I can't wait till we can pick this back up and play it. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please hit the like button. Helps me out a lot and shows your support for me and the channel and what we do here. Subscribe if you want to see more Game Pass news, updates, and all the like on this channel. And I'll leave you guys with this. May your days be filled with games and your life be filled with fun. Until next time, everyone, have a good one.